So we've looked at the HTML and CSS validation, but probably something which is much more important is the usability of the website. How do people with, with various difficulties access the website when they use maybe what, what's called user agents, for example, other technologies to, to access and, and navigate around the browser? One example of this are people who have a visual difficulty or who are blind and might need to use a screen reader. And in this case, the one I'm going to use, and probably one of the most popular ones, is one called JAWS. So I'm going to just start up JAWS now. JAWS for Windows is ready. Coatridge College vertical bar home vertical bus. Okay, and you can tell me JAWS is ready. It's speaking in the background. And typically someone with a visual impairment would probably use some keyboard uh, shortcuts to get around. So using the keyboard is, 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 is crucially important. And they'd have to know a series of shortcuts. So if I want to maybe find the kind of headings that are uh, in, in the website, I would press the insert key and the F6 key. Heading list line. Use code two. And as I navigate round these headings, raising awareness at Coatridge College vertical bar information day dash twenty seven March two. Thank you. Know you are talking to online vertical bar twenty five points. Okay, it's telling me what those headings are, and that's that's also telling me that the page has been well structured. It's been well laid out. If I want to, I hear the heading. If I want them to go and visit that heading, I press the tab and key move the to, to right move to, move to that heading. And, and then it takes me straight directly to that, to that page. So in that sense, it, it's been very well laid out. Another way is, is, how do I navigate around the site? How would someone with a visual impairment using a screen reader who doesn't have any site navigate around the site? Well, hyperlinks, of course, the links, the, the, the ways that, that people do uh, click to links to get to different places is also important for a screen reader user. And then this time I'm going to use another hot, series of hot keys, and it's going to be the insert key in F7. Okay, and it's telling me that I'm now in the links list box, but it's important that these links have been logically labelled, otherwise it might not make any sense. So what we have to avoid when you're writing a good website is to ensure that you don't have lots of click here's, click here's, click here's, otherwise it doesn't mean anything to anyone. So as I move through the links, we've got an information day, there's raising awareness at Cobridge College, we've got some staff vacancies, your journey through the college. So let's see how someone with a visual impairment would journey through the college. So I'm going to move to link button. I'm going activate to activate that link. My route for learning. Heading level two. Page has three headings and thirty links. Heading level two. Level. And again, it's telling me that the page has three headings and a certain number of links. So uh, you can see it's it's fairly straightforward using a screen reader to, to navigate my way around around the site just by using um, a, a, a screen reader called yours or or any other suitable screen reader.